Okay, let us discuss the next problem. The problem is 1.121. So, let me bring something this side so that we can have more light. Okay. Now this problem says, so let me draw the figure first. So this problem has a figure. So let me draw the figure. So not a tough figure, this is the easy one. So there is something like this. And this is given, this distance is L. And this distance is H. Now there is a mass M and it is acted by a force F, so mass is M. Now the, what the problem says, so let us read the problem. This says a body of mass M is slowly hauled up a hill by a force F, which at each point was directed along to tangent of trajectory. Now the force F is such that F is always tangential. So this is given in the problem. So that is force is always tangential. So this means if the, the particle is here, force is in this way. If particle is here, force is in this way. If particle is here, force is in this way. Always tangential. So this for direction of force is varying. But magnitude always remains constant. So F magnitude wise is constant. But the direction is not constant. So direction is not constant. And that's why this is always tangential. Because the tangent at each point of the trajectory is not same. So direction is not constant in this case. Now the problem is saying. So by a force A which is each point. I find the work performed by this force. If the height of hill is h, length of the base is l, and the coefficient of friction is k. Now this is not uh, smooth. The so coefficient of friction is the object and the uh, incline is k. So k is coefficient of friction. Coefficient of friction. That is given to you. Now you have to find out the force work done performed by the force F. So we have to find what is the work done performed by the force F. What is the work done? Find the work performed by this force. Now you see, it is also given in the problem, this object is raised very slowly. So raised slowly. This means if initial velocity is zero, if raising slowly, this means at any point of time, total force is again zero, net force is zero. This means there is no acceleration, so final velocity will also be zero. So at each point of time, the system, the block is in equilibrium, that is the total force downward is equal to total force upward. So this block will have no acceleration. So you have a block, there is a force downward, there is a force upward, there is a force this side, there is a force this side. Total force, external total force is zero. Some of the external total forces is zero. So this means there is no acceleration. If there is no acceleration, this means velocity remains constant. If u is zero initially, so v has to be zero. So initial velocity as well as final velocity is zero. Now I can apply change in kinetic energy is equals to work done. So what is the change in kinetic energy? Half m zero square final velocity is zero minus half m u square that is zero square. So th this is the change in kinetic energy is equals to zero. This means I have to add total work done, work done by all external forces has to be zero. And this we will apply. So you see what we will do is we will show all the forces acting on the particle at any point of time. So this object is here. Let us say at any point of time this force is acting. Now let us say at this point of time this makes the angle theta with the horizontal. Basically this theta is varying. If you have this point here, I have different theta. If this point is here, so somewhere here we will have different theta. So this is, theta is not constant. Let us say a particular case when at time t this force makes an angle theta. 
I have to find what is the work done by these forces. Now this force is given, this force is tangential. Now mz will act downward. I will have now the friction force that will act tangentially downward. So this is friction force. Now what we will do is, we will take the component of the forces along the tangent direction and along the perpendicular direction. And we will find work done by all the forces. That is my target. So to finding work done by all the forces. So let us make the perpendicular component. So if this angle is theta. So this angle is what? So this angle is theta. So this angle is 90 minus theta. So this angle is again theta. So this force is mg cos theta. In this case, and this direction you will have a force that is mg sin theta. Now the friction force is nothing but mu times n. There is a force in this direction that is normal reaction. So you will have a normal reaction in this direction in the direction of perpendicular. And normal reaction in this direction there is no force. So normal reaction has to be equal to mg cos theta. So n is basically mg cos theta. Now friction force is mu times n. Mu is k and normal reaction is mg cos theta. So friction force is mg as cos theta. So this is my friction force. Now see we have to find out the work done by all the forces. Now this displaces in this direction by ds. So I can write so force in this direction and tangential distance let us say ds is the tangential distance. So this distance is ds. So if this moves by ds so work done by f is f dot ds. In this case basically angle is 0 cos 0 degree because theta is 0. Tangential direction force is in the tangential direction and ds is also in the tangential direction. Now let us consider the mg sin theta. mg sin theta is downward and force is upward. So uh, the displacement is upward. So work done will be angle will be pi. So this will be minus mg sin theta. This is the force into ds that is displacement into cos pi cos pi minus sin we have already written and cos pi is 0 uh, 1 so minus 1 and minus 1 we have already included so this is work done by the mg sin theta what is the work done by the friction force once again this is negative minus kmg cos theta into ds because the friction force is in the direction and a displacement is in the upper direction so ds this has to be 0 because the total change in kinetic energy is 0. So f dot ds that is the work done by the force f is nothing but simply mg sin theta ds plus kmg cos theta ds. Now you see sin theta into ds is what? ds sin theta and cos theta ds is what? You can always find this. Either you can use uh, vectorial notation or you see basically I have to integrate this all forces. So this if I this goes from here to here. So I have to in integrate total force and then mg will come outside ds sin theta is what you have to find out ds sin theta plus kmg will come outside and this will be cos theta ds that is ds cos theta. Now what are the, these two terms denotes? So can you tell me what these two terms denotes? Just think one minute. What these two terms denote? That is ds sin theta, integral ds sin theta and what this integral ds cos theta denotes. Okay, if you have confusion I will give you one hint how to find this integral. So let us say I have here ds, so this is my ds vector. Now this vector can be written as this is dx vector, this is dy vector. So ds can always be written and this angle is theta. So ds can always be written as dxi plus dy 